When that terrible accident at Fukushima happened, the worst nuclear accident in the world, three meltdowns, and Tokyo might still need to be evacuated. 30 million people, Tokyo is still very radioactive, but if building fire collapses with an earthquake, Tokyo has to be evacuated. Now, they put so much radiation into the Pacific Ocean, they don't know how much. Terra becquerels, I mean, huge amounts. And the EPA is not, in its wisdom, testing a fish that swims thousands of miles from Japan, bioconcentrating radioactive elements to be caught here on your west coast. The EPA is criminal. The Japanese government's stricter standards for radioactive cesium in food took effect today. Local governments will begin applying the new inspection rules on Monday. After the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in March of last year, the health ministry set temporary permissible levels for radioactive cesium in food. Products such as vegetables, rice and meat were set at 500 becquerels per kilogram. Drinking water and dairy products were set at 200 becquerels per kilogram. But the amount of cesium in food products has since decreased. Under the new standards, common food products such as rice, vegetables and meat will be allowed to contain up to 100 becquerels of cesium per kilogram. Baby food and milk will be permitted to contain 50 becquerels and drinking water 10 becquerels. Stricter limits are reassuring, but I still don't know if the limits themselves are high or low. The health ministry says that between January and March, a total of 600 cases were reported in nine prefectures, including Fukushima, Ibaraki and Tochigi, in which food products contained more than 100 becquerels of cesium. The reported food products include landlocked salmon, flounder and raw shiitake mushrooms. Local governments and the central government will stop distributing foods exceeding the new standards. Radioactive elements bioconcentrate 10, 100 times at each step of the food chain, algae, crustaceans, little fish, big fish, us. You can't taste, smell or see them in the food. You don't know what food that's coming in is radioactive. It is their responsibility to test the food and they are not. A new report warns that municipalities in western Japan face stronger earthquakes and higher tsunamis than originally estimated. The highest estimated tsunami could reach over 30 meters. A government panel dropped the estimate based on the assumption that an expected magnitude 9.0 level earthquake hit central to western Japan. The revised projection is based on a report released in December on earthquakes along the Nankai Trough. Major earthquakes have occurred along the Pacific Ocean trough between every 90 to 150 years. 687 municipalities in 24 prefectures could experience earthquakes with an intensity of 6 minus or stronger on the Japanese seismic scale of 0 to 7. The figure is nearly double the government projection of 9 years ago. As for tsunami, the panel says 90 municipalities in 11 coastal prefectures in the belt from central to western Japan could be hit by tsunami higher than 10 meters. Among them, 23 municipalities could be struck by waves higher than 20 meters. It says although Tateyama City near Tokyo is far from the focus of the assumed quake, it cannot rule out a 9-meter tsunami. Tsunami could measure more than 25 meters in height in Shimoda, nearly 25 meters in Toba, and over 34 meters in the town of Kuroshio. Higher than expected jolts have also been forecast for areas hosting nuclear power plants. For this area around the Hamaoka nuclear power plant, tsunami waves could reach as high as 21 meters. That is higher than the 18 meter high tide barrier being built at the Hamaoka nuclear plant. You are in great danger. 18 meters is not high enough for possible tsunami. I believe the utility should reconsider its anti-tsunami measures. Kawakatsu says the assumption will influence the decision whether to resume the plant's operation. The panel will compile the report by June. The government will study comprehensive prevention measures based on this report.
you're gonna need a bigger boat. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Clowning is a kind of calling, but it's fate or God-given that makes you one they laugh or cry at. Once you've been chosen, you can't reject it. All you can do is work hard to become a good clown 